Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Develop Code Hunt. This is a very special episode uh, on how I messed up in sector 5, tasks 2 and 3. Uh, to my luck there was Ingo uh, pointing me at the right solutions on uh, the YouTube. So I'm going to show you how now how to solve these two tasks uh, much better than I did before. So for the first uh, task, we're supposed to detect fancy years from a number uh, where fancy year is a number that has all the same uh, numbers or year that has all the same numbers and uh, that is bigger than 1000 and smaller than 9999. So uh, in case I have a fancy year number inserted here, I'm supposed to return this string fancy year, in the other cases I'm supposed to return not a fancy year. And uh, I did this with some strange string manipulation, checking for all the same characters. But in fact, turns out uh, we can reduce this to a simple modulo operation. Just say I modulo 1111 uh, equals zero, which is the case for all the fancy numbers. Um, in this case, return fancy year, and in the other case, I've got the question mark. In the other case, return not a fancy year. I can delete all this additional stuff and compile it, and it should give me a valid solution, except that I'm too stupid to write fancy. Um, this should give me a right solution. Of course, um, this checks for the condition not less than 1000, while it does not check for the condition not bigger than 9999. And in fact, uh, it accepts input like uh, 11110. Um, as a valid input, which is not even fancy anymore because there's a zero at the end. So, in fact, I'd have to change, uh, I have to say uh, i has to be smaller than 10,000, and I'm kind of curious to see if that is accepted as a valid solution for these tasks and also gives me full skill point, which it does. So, with this small condition, it's actually possible to solve this task with maximum skill points. Nice. Thanks, Ingo. And uh, for the next tasks, it's not that obvious. Um, we're here supposed to compute whether these uh, the three input numbers are valid side length for a right rectangle. And turns out we can do this a little shorter than I did here by checking three conditions if we use uh, math absolute and check a times a minus b times b equals c times c or let's put this in the next line or math apps. and uh, a minus c times c is b times b and this should both work and give us a maximum skill rating according to what Ingo wrote below my post but actually does not work right now so let me just think about it oh <laughs> yes uh, this should be b times b, of course, and not b times c. And now it should work and give me the full skill rating, hopefully. Um, the reason why this works is, of course, uh, because of the absolute. Um, because the difference is the same, the absolute of the difference is the same, no matter uh, of the direction I calculate this with. Uh, in. So I could just flip these two and calculate another possibility and because of this the third possibility or the third case I had here before is included uh, in these two cases 
I have written here and I don't need a third case, therefore my expression is a little shorter and therefore CodeHunt rewards me with a maximum skill rating, which is very nice and already concludes uh, this episode because as you can see now I managed to finish all the levels of sector 5 with maximum skill rating. Thanks again Ingo for the help and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this episode feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, I'm Let's Developer, follow me on Twitter and uh, if you want check out my my other productions Let's Develop With which focuses currently on Maven and Eclipse and let's develop Conway's game of life. See you next time.